Hello YouTube, Dirk the Eng here again, and uh, I just wanted to um, address a couple questions that I had gotten um, on the YouTube um, uh, comments and forums. So uh, one was a little asking a little bit more detail about setting up the PMDX 107. Uh, so I've got this open. Um, here's how I have my switches set. Um, I have config 1 and config 7 set to on and uh, the the manual for PMD, PMDX 10, oh, the 126 uh, really is is pretty good pretty explicit uh, it tells what what one of those does uh, one of them uh, I believe turns on the uh, 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 wait for the charge pump uh, and the other um, is not necessary but it just turns off these uh, uh, relays and I'm not using them for anything right now. Um, as far as communicating to the spindle goes um, that's done through these uh, ports here on the uh, PMDX 107. Uh, there is a ground and two um, relay switches on the board and what the board does is short uh, one of these two pins to ground um, and in the spindle there is a pull-up resistor to 5 volts or, or whatever their internal logic voltage is and so when this gets shorted the pin goes low in the spindle and that's how it would know um, uh, whether or not you want it to go forward and reverse um, or forward and direction. You can set it up either way. Um, I found that it was more convenient to use the um, forward on and then reverse on setting uh, uh, type of uh, communication in that way. Uh, so then uh, you can see uh, the, the dip switch settings on the 107. Uh, I only had to flip one of them. Uh, and again you can look up in the manual uh, what that is, I think that's uh, number. Oh, it's so hard to see because I got it mounted up there, but uh, I think that's number. Hold on, I'll tell you. That's number five. That's switched. Okay. Uh, so then. The other thing to uh, communicate is your uh, spindle speed, and it does that through these other two wires. Okay, so they're actually kind of two commons that you need to you need to worry about two ground signals. One is is the analog ground, and the other is the um, digital ground. Okay, and I and I checked in the spindle they're not connected so they actually are must be on their own isolated logic circuits so you do need to you do need to send uh, five wires from the 107 to the box in order to make this work and the last thing that you need to do is send a voltage proportional signal okay and uh, the, the uh, spindle reads that and zero is off and 10 volts is on and actually you can set it to either a 5 or 10 volt setting okay then there's also a trim pot this blue guy here which helps you um, uh, scale the the analog voltage that gets sent to to the uh, system so it gives you a little bit of flexibility to uh, uh, get the numbers right when uh, you know you're telling it to say you know give me 5 volts that should correspond to um, 12,000 RPMs well due to, due to a bunch of different factors the least of which is the accuracy of the components on uh, that get manufactured it may not actually be 5 volts so that's what that's for um, so hope that answers that question a little bit about how, how you communicate um, to the spindle um, in terms of installing the 107, uh, the PMDX 126 has this uh, jumper port on it, 
and all you do is slide the PMDX into that port and then there is a screw, a grounding lug screw uh, that you'd have to take the board off this mount and screw it in from the back. Okay, so it's, it's really pretty simple. And then the rest of it was just, uh, you know, I routed my wires and uh, uh, came out to this uh, signal, uh, this, this um, Nutrix connector, and then ran an external cable over to the uh, VFD. So it's really not that hard. Um, uh, it takes a little bit of reading in the PMDX manuals, but I think you can probably do that. Um, I think that pretty well covers that question. Um, the other question that I got was uh, uh, somebody else had a, a similar item and uh, uh, bought basically an identical kit to this one and was had the proximity switches that I got and was trying to follow the instructions and one thing I didn't mention if you are following these instructions um, this statement here and here Oh, let's no. Let's see here. Where is that? Yeah, I think it is this one. The two underlined statements. Basically, in his text, he has the X and Y reversed. Um, I'm not exactly sure if there's a way in Mach to set that up that M1 corresponds to Y, but in every machine that I've ever done, they go in order. You know, M1. Sorry, I'm putting the wrong thing. M1 corresponds to X, M2 to Y, M3 to Z, A, B, and C. And that's how I've always had them set up. So I think that might solve your confusion. Um, uh, so that when you go into your pins, uh, you actually should have it set up this way. Um... And this statement is just backwards. So when you trip pin 11, which is what's related to X, the M1 lights will go on. And when you do Y, the M2 limits will go on. If you have it set up the same way that I do. And mine homes correctly. So I'll, I'll try and contact Aaron and get him to update that uh, um code or figure out what's the difference between his and mine and i'll get back to you all right hope that answers your questions and uh yeah till next time uh, uh by the way if you guys like this uh channel um go ahead and keep subscribing to it and or you know subscribe to it and and uh you know like the videos and all that kind of stuff that you do so rate and subscribe thanks bye